What we've done here, Technicolor has joined together with, uh, with Canada Japan, and we've created a Technicolor Cine style. So what the Cine style does is it gives you a higher dynamic range to acquire with on the camera. And if you're shooting something like a documentaries, um, long form, you know, uh, um, any features, things for broadcast, whatever you're doing with is you start off with a very, a much flatter look. It's a uh, nice, flat, slightly desaturated look, and it's a true log curve that we've introduced to the Canon 5D camera. So it's designed specifically to work with the Canon 5D Mark II. Um, that's what we profiled everything with. It is a picture style only. It's not a firmware update, so it will actually work with the 1D and the 7D, but it's been specifically profiled and calibrated against the center of the 5D Mark II. So you'll get varying results if you upload it in there, but it's definitely doable, definitely usable. Uh, so that really is the big news. So it's really a way to get this out there, give you this nice flat curve, nice flat image, great place to start your cinematography on, and it works for mainly what we're really proposing for is our, uh, our feature work and broadcast work. But if you're an event videographer, you want to get that really nice film style look to it, it's a great place to go. Um, it really is just a great balance starting point for everyone. On top of that, what we're showcasing as well is our DP Lights color correction system. So it's our on-location color correction. So what we have here is, you see that through the, uh, this camera right here, the Canon 5D Mark II, so I can't touch because there's a demo in progress. Um, but with the 5D Mark II, we have the HDMI out going into an HDSDI converter. That's feeding our DP Lights on-location color correction system live. So, you know, you can see it's a, it's a live feed and we have a real-time color correction. So first thing you'll see is that uh, I'll put it in the uh, bypass mode. This is what's coming off of the camera right now. So a very flat look. Take this up here and see that you've got a live color correction. So I'm just going to really just tweak this and go crazy with it so you can see what it does. But it works off the uh, CDL value. So it's ACCDL compliant, works with lift gamma gain and saturation. So the values that you have are your lift gamma gain, slope offset power, depends on where you are in the color school. They're identical. Because it is ASC CDL compliant, we save these as looks into our system through DP lights, and it's non-destructive. So we're not setting a look through here to then build into the camera, so you don't capture with these looks. You capture everything flat. It's a post-process. Once you, you can apply these looks then to your dailies, be it Apple ProRes, be it uh, Avid DNX, whatever you're using for your offline process. Once you go through there, you go back and you finalize to the actual native files. So you go back and you start with this file again. So no matter what you've done to it in dailies, you come back to this, now your colorist has the most wide dynamic range to actually start back his color from. If he so chooses, because they're in the ASCCDL, he could wake up that color and use that as a starting point, or again, delete it, start from there, and go. It all depends on the workflows. Now, important note, you don't need any of this to have a city style. The city style will be a free download available at the end of the month. It'll be uh, available on uh, technicolor.com for everyone to use. And it's the part, the rest of it here with DP Life is a service that Technicolor offers for on location. It's not a consumer based product, but we're getting such great feedback on it that we may have to rethink that policy. Um, I, I don't really know what, what else to say with this aside from we really want to get your feedback on it and uh, please use it. Let us know, love it or hate it, we want to hear. Main reason it's not available right now, we're continuing to tweak a little bit on this, and we want to make sure that we're getting everyone's feedback so we apply it to this, the final picture shot that comes out there. And hopefully it's uh, one of many. So, this is a movie slate that's actually available in the App Store currently. Um, it's, uh, what we've done is we've joined together with uh, the maker of this, Cliff Choice and Pure Blend Software. And really, it's, it's a fully functional slate. So, you know, I should have used this to actually mark our sync before we started. But fully functional slate, time code is functional. You could actually sync this to a master clock or you could use this as a master clock with an, uh, an add-on. Um, circle takes, add notes, you know, typing notes, um, the notes you could actually do voice recorded notes as well. But it's really not so much about the slate that we're looking at here. It's all the different metadata that you're losing and throwing away on set. So all this information is crucial to the post process. And what we're finding is a lot of people are just writing this down by hand. It's going to a big stack of paper. No one ever remembers. You know, I could ask you in 10 minutes what you just shot this on. You may not remember. 
But now you can simply go into this and you know what lens you use, you know your angles, you know your different uh, the different filters you've been using. And the beauty of this is we're gonna we're adding more and more functionality to it. It'll be available in the next 30 to 60 days as technical or movie slate. So with all that, once you populate everything, you have a complete shot log of all the stuff that we've been working on. You know, we've been playing with this all through NAB, so we have everyone that's shown up here, everyone made themselves a director, or their mother was a DP, et cetera, et cetera. It takes the um, GPS, advantage of the GPS of the device. It works across all the iOS devices, so it works on iPad, iPhone. Um, and it really is just a central repository for metadata that's being lost and never used again. And in future builds of this, really what we're looking at is to be able to wirelessly synchronize this to our DP light system to take advantage of all the CDL values that we're creating, as well as uh, other devices that can talk wirelessly to our devices. Yeah, and this again is something that I hope you guys uh, try out and let us know. We'd love to hear the feedback on these too.